Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Randy and I love to crochet and that is what we'll be doing today. So today we'll be making something that I think is a great um, beginner friendly like Christmas gift. If you are looking for like quick and easy Christmas gifts, especially if you just want like an add on gift, you're learning how to crochet or maybe you've been crocheting for a while and you just want to crochet a gift or get some more practice in with crochet by crocheting a gift or crocheting something for yourself, I think this is a great project because it's different. It gets a little bit more technique to it. And yeah, let's go ahead and reveal. You probably already saw in the main picture and I will address this now is I could not find my brown acrylic so I use fluffy yarn. This could look better if you do it with brown acrylic in my opinion, but we are making a capybara book cover. This is a great, like I said, additional gift where maybe you're giving someone a book or a um, gift card to go buy a book or even a Kindle or maybe you have an iPad or they have an iPad and you want to make something quick and easy, this is great and it's adorable. Capybaras are very popular right now, which is why I went with this. And I think it's a win-win, even though he kind of looks like a llama, so you could make it other colors and make it a llama too. But with that being said, uh, you pick out your acrylic yarn. I show in the next clip what I use for it. I also put it down in the description down below if you want to know a written version of exactly everything I use to make this. If you love crochet, you should definitely subscribe and follow my Instagram. Let's go ahead and get started on making this. All right, to start with our project, I'm using this Loops and Thread Soft Classics. I like this yarn for projects like this because you get a lot of yarn, you definitely will have enough and you'll only need one skein. So this recommends a five millimeter. I'm using a six just to make it nice and easy. And the color is taupe. And this is a medium yarn. So I already did one panel so I could tell you the amount of stitches we need and how many rows. So we'll do our starting chain. And this is, uh, the book I'm using is like a pretty like standard larger hardcover book. So I can know that this will fit most books if you want to like make this for your tablet or your computer, definitely just kind of measure. I gave plenty of extra room where it can sit comfortably in here. But for just kind of like your standard book, larger book size, we're gonna do a starting chain of 30. So we'll go ahead and start out. And you wanna make, make sure your stitches are nice and loose. I have a problem where sometimes I like to make my starting chain and my stitches in general just way too tight. Once you have your uh, starting chain of 30 done, we're gonna flip our work and we're not gonna go into our first loop but into the second and do a half double crochet because it's just my preferred. To be honest, I just love a half double. I really like the look of it how it kind of almost has like a rib striped look to it. So if you're not super familiar, you just want to loop onto your yarn, go in, pull through. So you have three loops and then pull all the way through. So you have three loops instead of the two, pull all the way through and you'll have 29 stitches for each row. So we're going to go all the way to our end one and put a stitch in every one. So row one, you'll have 29 stitches, and then we're just gonna flip our work. This is what our working yarn looks like. We'll flip our work, go into this very first one, and then we're gonna go all the way across. And so each row will have 29 stitches, and then we'll do a total of 27 rows. So this is what it'll look like and you'll need two of these. So I already have one and I'm now working on my second one. Once you make both pieces of this we're going to make the ears so here is one which we'll attach later so I'm going to use the same yarn and I'm going to 
do a starting chain of five, still with my six millimeter hook. So two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna do a single crochet. And my first row will be four. So two, three, four. And I'm gonna flip my work and do another row of four. So row three, or two, will be four as well. And I'm gonna flip my work again and just do a row of three. So one, two, three. And you'll wanna do that twice to get two ears. Now I'm going to be honest, I did have brown acrylic yarn somewhere, but I cannot find it. So I'm just gonna use this brown fluffy yarn. You are more than welcome to still use brown acrylic. Use whatever brown yarn you have as like just around the house as well as I'm gonna use this black acrylic. This one is like my go-to detailing one. And I'm just gonna do the eyes, and then we're gonna do the mouth. So I think I'm gonna do the eyes right about here. Because we're just kinda of doing like a generic face, doesn't really matter too much, and I'm just gonna do that. And then we're going to kind of go across and do an even, like, do the same thing uh, directly across from this. Now, since I'm using this fluffy yarn, I did switch to a 9mm hook. Um, you use whatever size hook you need for this. And this will probably be a place you'll need to adjust if you're not like me and doing the wrong size hook here. So I have one, two, three. Four, I'm going to do my magic ring because we're going to do a circle. So however you like to do your magic ring, go ahead and do that. And then, um, and then we're going to put, I think it's eight stitches into this. If six stitches is how much fits into yours, do six. Are you okay? Do six. I'm going to do eight stitches into the center ring. So for mine and the type of yarn I'm using, this is actually like the perfect size for his like nozzle, like nozzle, his like nose slash like mouth, his muzzle. That's what I was trying to say, his muzzle. And so I'm going to leave it at that. But if you are using smaller yarn, if you are using smaller yarn, you will need to do more rounds than this. So the next round would be two stitches in the first, two stitches in the next, like all the way around, double up the stitches, and then two stitches in the first, a single stitch, two stitches in the next, all the way around, and so on. So on the muzzle, we will do our detail, which with this yarn, it definitely will be a lot harder to see, but we're gonna do a little nose. Oops, I guess I'll want to make that solid there. We're gonna do a nose and we're gonna loosely leave it loose because it will get lost in the yarn. And then I'm gonna kinda do like a V frown look. So I'll do a line a line kind of looks like a lion here but that's okay and then that's going to be kind of his face and then you have his little ears and we just have to assemble it all so i'll uh, attach this and the ears and then i'm going to go through and i'll just quickly show you how to assemble the pieces here so you're just going to weave back and forth through these kind of notches. You can kind of naturally see them all the way around, except for your top, or if you wanna do your side, whichever one you prefer. 
but just weave back and forth with your yarn needle through these all the way around. The bottom typically is a lot easier because you can see all the stitches better, but go all the way around with some yarn. Leave one side open and then we'll come back when it's all put together. I also uh, like sewed on the ears up at the top. You can adjust where you add them. I also think he'll look a little better with a not fluffy muzzle so I recommend acrylic like I said I just maybe I use the rest of my brown acrylic I don't remember but for now he's having a fluffy muzzle and once you assemble everything you have your book cover and like I said I think acrylic yarn would look better here but yeah this was a super quick and easy project great gift idea and it's very affordable this yarn cost me, I think, $3, and then if you have scrap brown and scrap black yarn, you can make this for under 5 bucks. If not, you can get yarn from the Dollar Tree and make the detailing, and you can also make this whatever colors you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.